Hi right, guys, right, this is just a quick video on parasitic drains. Um, it's not a diag video, more of a, an informative video as to, well, why they're such a nightmare and it can be a long winded process. Um, not going to take you through our full process. We, uh, we charge out a minimum of two hours on these. That's our starting point. We've got a set procedure, um, but I'm just going to show you on this one because we've we've got our answer on this now. So we're just going to see why it can be such a, a nightmare, really. So first of all, we start with our battery test, uh, 12.3 volts. So not you know little discharge, um, 600 amp rated, only 333 amps. It's actually failed on the battery on this. Um, so we've hooked up our own battery there for testing. Leads on, disconnected uh, that one. Um, Pico amp clamp. That's how we like to do our, our testing. Um, and on this vehicle, we have an average of 193.7 milliamp drain on a 12.5 amp uh, volt battery. Um, so yeah, well over the amount that we would uh, allow for a battery drain. Um, I'll take you straight to the point. Where's our, where's our light? So there's uh, this 10 amp fuse here. This was our our culprit for the drain. And uh, what this powers is a number of things. So we've got the 36 amp fuse there, which comes down and you can see it branches off one, two, three, four, five, six. A couple more branches off down there. So this is what makes it complicated. Um, it goes to radio, power supply transformer, which I don't think this vehicle has. Uh, TPMS, which again, I don't think this vehicle has. Um, multimedia interface, data link, HVAC, uh, anti-theft alarm and the anti-theft alarm module now there is nothing to say that it's any one of them modules there's also nothing to say that there isn't anything tapped off on any one of these wires that might be for a tracker or additional auxiliary circuits that they might have added so this is why they can be uh, pretty time consuming and, uh, and long winded but um, Again, you know, radio is center dash TPMS, wherever they decide to locate that. The player interface module could be under seats, could be in the glove box. Uh, HVAC, again, center dash strip out. Siren alarm behind the front bumper. Anti-theft module somewhere behind the dash, hidden away. There's an awful lot of stripping out to be done to uh, try and find the answer. Anyway, we have found it. We got to the bottom of it, and this here is our answer. Uh, no, we'll disconnect this. We've shown you our battery drain it was around about 194 milliamps. So we'll get back on the. Pico screen now and there you go you can see it's dropped right down to zero so when it refreshes we'll see uh, what our new drain is it looks like it's dropped to 13.9 milliamps there so we know what we need to do to uh, to fix this battery drain now but I just wanted to, to uh, you know, basic procedure. It's it's 
very long-winded on these these palisaditic drains and it's basically show you what it's about so cheers guys